This guide gives you a brief overview of how to draw, save, and submit full maps for Utah to the Utah Independent Redistricting Commission. This software should only be used if you are interested in drawing a complete Congressional, State Senate, State House, or School Board map. Only begin drawing maps on this software if you intend to complete a whole map to submit to the Commission. If you are interested in just submitting a community of interest or commenting on a specific area, visit uirc.maps.arcgis.com or send us an email at uircomments at utah.gov. Getting started. To begin the mapping process, you must first create an account. Navigate to uirc.utah.gov slash esri-software-note. Click Continue to the ESRI software and create a free account. Once your account is created, you will be redirected to the sign-in page where you will sign in and be asked to set up a security question. Once in the software, you will see five template options. The blank map has no previous districts and will allow to set the number of districts depending on what map you are working on and start from scratch. The remaining four templates show the current maps and will allow you to simply adjust them for the change in population. Depending on which map you intend to draw, make your selection and click OK. Before you begin, saving. Mapping is a long process that will likely take several sessions. If you wish to save your map and complete it at a later time, navigate to File and click Save As. Name your map and create a description if you wish. Using the Save As button will save your map to the cloud. If you would rather save it locally to your computer, you can click Save Local instead. Please note, because you are currently working on a template, the Save button will not work until you use the Save As to make a copy. When returning to your map, click on any template and click OK. Once in the software, navigate to File and click Open. If your plan was saved to the cloud, it will be under My Plans. If you saved your map locally, click Open Local Plan. If you wish, you may also submit your plan to the Legislative Committee. Save it locally and follow the same steps after you have created an account on their website. Before you begin, deviations and districts. The maximum deviation and district numbers are set by law and cannot be changed. The breakdown for these deviations and district numbers are as follows. Congressional districts, four, with a maximum 1% deviation. State Senate districts, 29, with a maximum 10% deviation. State House districts, 75, with a maximum 10% deviation. State School Board, 15, with a maximum 10% deviation. If you would like more information on what maximum deviation is, visit uirc.utah.gov. Beginning the mapping process. The Learn tab can give you more information on how to use the software. The View tab can adjust the overall facts of the map. This includes changing the numbers of districts, how they are shown on the map, and a variety of other things. The Create tab is where the actual districting happens. When mapping, you will be using previously drawn census blocks to create borders. As you zoom in, the number of them increase, and you can finally map areas. When zoomed out all the way, you can select by county. The District Selection tool allows you to select which district you are currently working on. The Picking tool allows you to select census blocks individually, which is best for fine-tuning areas or communities. The Rectangle Selection tool allows you to select a whole area in a rectangle. All census blocks within the rectangle will be selected, which is best overall or when selecting large regions. The Drawing and Line Selection tools function similar to the Rectangle Selection tool, but allow you to draw your own shape, which is best for selecting odd-shaped communities or boundaries. 
The Undo and Redo buttons allow you to undo changes. Hotkeys do not work in this program, so Ctrl-Z will not work. The Unassigned Geography tool allows you to find unassigned areas or areas that you may have missed when mapping. The Base Map Changer allows you to set the background map, such as satellite or highway maps. The Identify tool opens the Identify menu. The Main Identify tool can be used to find a city's city limits, demographics, and population. It can also do the same thing at a county level. Simply type in the city name and click Show. When you have a city selected, you can use the Assign tool to assign the whole city to one district. Select your desired district in the Top District Selection tool and leave Source District as Any District. Then simply click Assign To. Additional Possibilities This video just scrapes the surface of the ESRI system. The ESRI software is an incredibly powerful software with endless possibilities. If there's an additional demographic, feature, or something else you wish you could see, please email us at uircomments at utah.gov. There's a good possibility the software is able to complete the task, and an employee of the Commission would be happy to explain anything this video does not. Or, please attend any of the Commission meetings, where you can ask additional questions. A schedule of meetings can be found on the website. Wrapping up. In the Review tab, you can find several reports on your map, including demographics, population, and legality checks. The Check Integrity button allows you to run a test on your map and see if it meets all requirements. The Reports button allows you to generate PDF reports on your district, including demographic reports, population reports, and geography reports. Do not use the Share tab to submit your plan to the Commission. The only use of the Share tab is to share your maps with another software user. When you are ready to submit your maps, navigate to the Submit tab and click Submit Plan. The software will run a final check on your maps and ask you to fix any issues it has found. If all is good, you will be asked to leave comments and for any additional information. The Commission thanks you for your participation and dedication to our beautiful state. As always, if you encounter any errors or have questions, please contact us at uircomments at utah.gov.